Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's me again, Vanessa. I wanted to first say thank you to all of you who watched the first video, my first tutorial. I really appreciate the support. And some of you who shared it to your friends, thank you. Put it on your pages. I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But today I'm doing an everyday normal look because I'm about to go to work. This is why I'm just like a nun. But yeah, this is why I'm just like this right now. Like I'm about to go to the office. So um, please stay tuned and please do not forget to like, subscribe or drop a comment. Anything you want me to focus on, let me know. And one more thing i know it's a lot right now but one more thing please do not forget to go down into my blog that me and my sister share it's in the description box smv it's on wordpress and we just talk about everyday life's ups the ups and downs of life basically do you know what i mean so do you know what i mean do you know what i mean do you know what i mean, do you know what I mean? take a look take a look take a look take a look <laughs> but yeah stay tuned to see how i got this look thank you and i'll see you soon in three two so let's get started and again time to back off the glasses and what i'm going to do again is just set my eyebrows with the <laughs> everything's dropping again with the elf mascara and eyelash gel so this is going to help keep my eyebrow hairs in place okay now that it's dry i'm going to prime my face again with the maybelline mattifying base Again, like I said, if you do have the money for it, because this one's around $7.99, $8.99 in Superdrug. If you do have the money for something a little bit more expensive, go to Smashbox. They have a really good primer, and that's around £26 the last time I bought it. If you got rent to pay like me, <laughs> you better stick this, that's what I'm saying. Okay, now that that's done, it's time for the foundation. And don't forget guys, um, with Fenty Beauty, it does oxidize. I forgot to say it in the last video. So sometimes when it will look a bit yellow at the beginning, or when you're swatching it, swatch it on your skin, wait 10 minutes, let it dry, and then see it and match it against your complexion and see if it's the right color for you. So I'll be mixing uh, 410 with 390. If you've watched any other reviews about Fenty Beauty, you'll hear that 390 seems a bit orangey, so that's why I'm turning it down with the 410. But when it dries, it actually looks like, like really good for me, so. And there we go. So that's the foundation done. It's time for me to do a highlight because I'm doing a basic look today. Everything's going to be a little bit toned down and I'm going to start my highlight. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So like I said, I'm using in the video before I used the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in deep olive. That's what I'll be using today for under my eyes. But remember, I did say it is a mattifying concealer and I'm already using a mattifying foundation so it's going to look really dry so before that i put the pro la girl pro concealer in fawn just underneath my eyes just to make it a bit softer because we already have creases in my eyes why am i going to like expose them and just like another thing as well because this is a mattifying foundation fenty beauty my mustache comes through even thicker like i don't understand like hello come through mustache shape let's go So that's the LA girl section done, and now I'm going to go in with the elf. Santa's little helper, eh? Let's see how it helps me today. And again, this dries quickly, so you do one side at a time. I'm waiting to wear this a few times before I give it a full review, but so far so good. If anyone's interested in purchasing it, it's only five pounds from Superdrug, so it's actually not much money if it does go wrong, which it won't. So we just roll in to the next section. Now I'm just going to use Auntie Sacha, Sacha. The Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. 
I got this off Amazon two years ago. Like I said, I've had it for two years. It's due to... I need to get a new one soon because it's finishing. But I've had this for two years. But Auntie Sasha comes through. When I tell you, she never leaves me hanging. Mm-mm, never. She got my back. And my bags. It was okay. From what I can see. Y'all have to remember, I am doing this without my glasses on. So... <clears throat> We'll see how it all turns out. <laughs> Use this hand, how about that? Okay, so that's me done with the setting of the concealer. Now it's time to contour and again I will be using the elf concealer the 16 hour one in rich cocoa I used it in my previous video as well and like I said I can't give a full-on review about it until I've used it a couple times like and in different type of temperatures as well do you know what I mean so but so far like I said so good control it control it you know no no that was bad don't do that When you're contouring, make sure you contour downwards. I wouldn't advise you to contour upwards because if it keeps going higher and higher, it'll end up looking like you have a little beard. And I already have a moustache because of the Fenty Beauty, so let's not do the whole, nah, I'm not beard gang, okay, so. Or even try to school you up. Okay, so I'm gonna use L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade deep neutral again you guys know from my previous video that i use this now this is what i'm going to use as um just the blending powder just to blend the contour and the highlight together let it look like time to contour my nose okay I'm hoping that did something. I'm hoping that made a difference because I can't see it, but I don't have my glasses on, so of course I can't see it. So now it's time for me to just like refine. Is it refine? Define? It's time to make that contour pop. How about that? Yeah, that's better. I want to do a soft, blendable contour. I don't want it too sharp. So we'll see what we can do here. So again, the fawn and I said the name properly today so again because I'm going to work I'm not trying to do too much so I normally use my Sasha Buttercup after this and put it on top of the concealer to set it, but this time I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Hazelnut Setting Powder. So I bought this because I thought, oh, maybe I should try a little bit of a darker one for my all around my face, but this is too light for all around my face as well, so it makes me look a bit ashy. But this is a nice way just to soften a highlight. So when you go for a medium tone, so this is the um, Hazelnut. I don't have a stopper in there, but you know. It looks really yellow in here, but it's not actually. And this is lightly scented, just to let you guys know in case any of you are thinking to buy it or purchase it and you might have it. To be honest, I have sensitive skin and the scent doesn't bother me, but if you guys don't like scented things or scented products, especially on your face, then you know, this won't be the one for you. Okay, so you see that it's a little bit dark, it's not as sharp as the one I did in the video before, but this is perfect for work. If any of you have this Fenty Beauty setting powder, please tell me if you struggle to put the lid on as well. Like, watch me. I'm gonna see, it's already burning. Is 
tell you just to do one basic circle here. You have to do octagon or what? Sorry, Anna. <laughs> okay, now it's time for me to do eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna do it nice and basic because it's work and this is my everyday look. I'm not trying to do too much. Who am I? No, but yeah. So again, I'm using medium beige LA Girl and put it over my eyelids. Blend it with your finger, it's easier. It's messy, yes, but it's just easier instead of getting a whole nother brush for all of this. It's not that deep. Yeah, that's okay. I forgot to do highlight, guys. What a knobhead. Okay, so let me quickly highlight yeah, let me quickly highlight while this is all forming in itself. So I've got this nice little like, it looks like a pencil. Yeah, so I'll be using the sleek highlight and contour palette in dark. Uh, I do think I should have got medium to be honest because it's really dark, but we'll see. I'm going to use the darkest highlight here because it's just supposed to be an everyday look. It's not belong ting, eh? Do you get what I mean? Like... back to my eyelids and for this natural look well not natural because I've got makeup on but this normal casual look I will be using as an eyeshadow for real I'm actually gonna use this I will be using the L'Oreal blendable powder that I just used to soften up my contour I'm gonna use that on my eyelids powder is powder okay I want it all to just be married to my look do you know what I mean Okay, I'm back. My eyeliner is done and my eyelashes. I use this e.l.f. mascara and guys, I will not recommend this. It is cheap, but it's like, the bristles, I don't, like, it's just hard. Like, I don't know. It doesn't give me the body I want, but I don't have eyelashes really anyway. But yeah, so I've done the eyeliner. Eyelashes are done. My my eyeliner is done and also done out here because it's drying on me so I need to buy a new one. But yes, yeah, time for me to put on some eyelashes. And today, the eyelashes I'll be going for, and you know, y'all don't know, but y'all will get to know. I love eyelash, like, um, eyelashes and you can get them in Superdrug. And the eyelash, eyelash I'm using today is the volume number 101. Okay, and the eyelashes are on. I forgot to also let you know that the eyelashes actually come with its own glue as well so like you're all set to go basically and they're reusable eyelashes like I use one of these for like two weeks so I just take off the glue and then re-glue it again the next day and it's done well I can use them again so yeah so now that we've got the eye look ready it's time to do the eyebrows should I fast forward this part Should I fast forward it or should I put it in? Okay, so my eyebrows are done again off camera, but I will be doing the eyebrow tutorial sometime soon. So my eyebrows are done. Today they're not identical sisters. They are, like I said, they're sisters with maybe a two year age gap. So they're not, they don't look fully alike. They're not twins, they're sisters, okay guys? Sometimes some girls be doing Siamese twin eyebrows. Sometimes some girls get twin eyebrows, but today I just got sister eyebrows with two years difference. How about that? So yeah, eyebrows are done. Now it's time for me to, I think I'm done with my face, but I'm introducing <laughs> this new lipstick that I got. So basically I love brown lipstick. Brown lipstick is my go-to color. And I've just recently come across this ultra matte liquid lipstick by L'Oreal, Le Chocolates. In the shade 860 Ginger Bomb. So let's do this. You know you gotta put your lip like this, right? 
Ooh, chelly boy. Nyaza. It smells like chocolate. Mmm. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is a lovely color. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me... It's really up to you what you guys think, but I love this color. I love browns. So yeah, time for me to now use my Urban Decay all night on. And let me look at the time because I could be running late for work. Oh, 20 minutes. Still got time to do my hair. It don't taste nice guys that's another review <laughs> it don't taste nice okay and the lord said let there be sight let's see how it all looks Ooh. and there was sight and Vanessa saw that it was good it looks all right okay so that's the look for today I'm guessing I might have to do something with this hair Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is just my everyday look. It's basic. It's all just like one color basically. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe and drop a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget that me and my sister's blog will be in the description box where you can get to know what I'm getting up to on an everyday basis. So please, 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 please take a look down there. Uh, I do appreciate you who have watched the first video, the first tutorial. I appreciate it. And have a lovely week. Bye.